Hello, my name is Mrs Ferguson and I teach cello and double bass at the Tees Valley Music Service. I'm sitting here now with my double bass. You will see that it is a very big instrument. It's the biggest of all the instruments in the violin family. And if you've seen the violin and the viola, you might remember that they just sit under the chin. The cello, you do sit with, but it's not quite as large as this one. So like the other instruments in the violin family, the double bass is made of wood. The shoulders slope a little bit more than on the other instruments. We've got these two giant F holes to let the vibrations in and out of the instruments. We have got four strings, which we'll hear in a minute. The bridge, which is a very big bridge. And when the strings go up to the top, you will see we have got screws here, not the pegs that you have on the other instruments. It's called a machine head. And it's a rather more efficient way of tightening the strings and loosening the strings. So there we are. And I will sit down again with my bass. And I'm going to pluck the strings for you now. Here we go. Um, before I do, just imagine, do you think the sound is going to be a higher pitched sound or a lower pitched sound? with the size of this instrument, what do you think? Uh, that means higher or lower than the other instruments in the violin family. We've actually got four strings which are pitched differently as well. Let's listen to them now. That one is really deep, isn't it? Let's have a little bit of a closer look because on the double bass, you really can see the string vibrating. Okay, so this is the highest one. Next one. Yeah, you can see that string wobbling, can't you? Next one. That's even better. And let's try our deepest sounding one. You can really see that string wobble, can't you? Okay, so the strings on the double bass are so long, you really can see the vibration. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm going to sit down. I could stand up, but because I want to feel comfortable and I'm going to play for a little bit, I'm going to sit with my instrument. Now, first of all, let's pretend that I'm a double bass playing in a jazz band because you get lots of double basses in jazz bands. Okay. And I'm going to play just plucking the strings. There is an Italian word pizzicato, which means plucking the strings. Here I go then. Okay, so you can have lots of fun with a double bass and it plays in all sorts of different groups. Right, now I've just done some jazz. I'm gonna get my bow. And if you saw me doing the cello video, you might remember I called the bow my magic wand because the bow can create so many different sounds. Okay, and like the other instruments, the bow is made of wood, the stick on the top, and then the hair, the white hair, which is horse's hair, and the screw at the bottom to tighten or loosen the hair. Okay, I'm gonna bow the strings now. Let's listen to them. <laughs> big fish. Whoa, there 
we go. That was an even bigger shark than with a cello, wasn't it? Right, so there we go with our deepest sound. Now I'm going to play another tune for you. And you might recognise it. It's about teddy bears going for a picnic. Here we go then. can make a very beautiful soft sound. I'm going to play a lovely tune that you might half recognise. It's like a sort of solemn sad version of the tune of Frere Jacques and I think it makes a beautiful sound on the double bass. <laughs> It is a big instrument, but if you are quite tall and you've got nice wide hands, you can be as young as year four. I have taught double bass players in year four and year five and year six. So if you've got mums or dads who are happy for you to have a big instrument and to be able to get it backwards and forwards from school, it is so worth learning this instrument because there aren't many double bass players and they're in great demand and it's a beautiful instrument. <laughs> 